The British public was not aware at the time that the war was happening that these women were working behind enemy lines. So when it came out afterwards, they were horrified on the one hand, but fascinated on the other hand, because these were very young women. Codename Pauline is the memoir of Pearl Witherington, one of the only women to lead French rural fighters, the McKee. She was one of the most famous women of the British organization, the Special Operations Executive. The Special Operations Executive was a wartime agency created to train agents in Britain, people who could pass as natives of Nazi-occupied countries. And they would go in and they would organize resistance activities in those countries. Pearl Witherington was born and raised in Paris. Then, in December of 1940, the Germans started rounding up all British subjects and Pearl and her family were British citizens. And so she took a lengthy trip out of northern France, which was considered occupied France, to southern France. Then she escaped to London, and then she went to the SOE. Normally, they targeted people either that they knew or that they thought would make good agents, but she went looking for the SOE. And she really impressed her SOE instructors. One of them said that Pearl was one of the best shots they had had so far, male or female. Pearl parachuted into France September 22nd, 1943. Her cover was a cosmetic representative. She was Marie Vergas was her alias. And she went around the huge stationer network carrying messages, finding information for her network leader. And when her network leader was arrested, she was able to take charge and organize a group of 3,500 French fighters and keep them prepared for D-Day. After D-Day, that was the moment for the McKee, the French rural fighters. Pearl's network were part of a bigger operation of the French resistance that worked to hinder the German rush to the coast. So they sabotaged communication lines. They were involved in disrupting transportation. General Eisenhower publicly stated that the Allied invasion of Normandy would not have been successful without the efforts of the French resistance, many who had been trained and armed by the SOE. To me, Pearl Witherington was impressive because she was willing to do whatever it took. She didn't have to be a leader. She wasn't looking for a certain rank. She said, I don't consider I did anything extraordinary. I did it because I wanted to, because it was useful, because it had to be done. <laughs> 